Est-ce qu'il y a un plaisir à savoir que les lecteurs français vont enfin découvrir vos poèmes Et est-ce qu'il y a pour vous, dans votre écriture, dans votre inspiration, dans votre rapport à la littérature, une place particulière pour la poésie Je suis fière de dire oui. Merci à mon éditeur, mon éditeur, mon éditeur, mon éditeur et mon traducteur pour le livre de poésie qui a juste été traduit. Oh, it's been Oh, well, I, I think of myself primarily as a, a poet, so I mean, it's, you know, pretty much what I, how I encounter the world and what I'm interested in, so, yes. <laughs> Laura Kachishke, dans Marie Rebelle, dans l'un des premiers poèmes de Marie Rebelle, vous écrivez, là, je vois encore autre chose, donc, here I see something more, Excusez-moi pour mon accent. Euh, Est-ce que ça pourrait, ça, ça pourrait être une définition pour vous de la poésie Et j'adresse cette question d'ailleurs ensuite à tout le monde, à tous les autres auteurs. Est-ce que la poésie, c'est voir autre chose, dire autre chose, le dire autrement Well, I, for me, uh, not writing. I don't write short stories very much, but so novel writing and poetry writing are completely different, and they're so different that the only thing that they have in common is, you know, a pencil and some words. But because it just seems that completely different art forms for me, um, coming from utterly different impulses and places. So, uh, I, you know. Um, Fiction writers have made fun of me for saying this before I got angry, but I mean, I really do think of poetry as the sacred art, you know, as our, our ancient form of communication that preceded anything we could ever comprehend as a, a long narrative story. And so I just, you know, think that poetry comes for all of us who write it and then, for, you know, from the reading of it, from just a very different place, a different part of the consciousness and maybe part of, you know, uh, more of a collective consciousness if you believe in such things. Um, so, you know, I, uh, I began as a poet and I, only, I started writing novels just because I like to read them and I thought I had an idea for one and I don't write poetry all the time and I don't write criticism, so I want to be writing and uh, writing novels is a way of dans votre, dans votre recueil, la mort est extrêmement présente et c'est le cas aussi d'ailleurs dans, dans vos romans. Est-ce que vous, vous diriez qu'il y a un lien euh, essentiel entre la poésie et, et la perte ou une forme de reconstruction Je pense que c'est juste différent in that I don't really think about the subject matter of poetry that I write or the poems even that I read or you know that very much to me um, poetry fundamentally the only thing I'm really interested in is is metaphor and figurative language and imagery and sensory detail and this building to some sort of connection to an emotional experience I would say that, you know, probably oftentimes I feel compelled to go to all the work and, um, you know, trying to get to that place to find those images um, because maybe I feel sad. <laughs> or anger works, <laughs> that will lie to bitterness. <laughs> so, um, uh, but, but No, I, I don't, so I don't really, I wouldn't, I guess I would not say that, yeah, I think that, you know, poetry is inspired, death and loss inspires poetry so much, um, but I think it's because I'm not that interested in the subject matter of poetry. I think the fragmentation um, in, 
in poetry or, you know, it's, it certainly exists in novels too, no matter how linear, no matter how crafted a, either a poem or a novel is, the, the mind just works and that way I think, you know, I, by association, and it, it's so mysterious where ideas come from and how our brains work and, you know, where, you know, like we have these dreams that we invented, but we don't know where they came from or what they mean. I mean, what's that all about? And so, I mean, I think you're, I, I'm assuming I'm not the only one who just sort of comes to me. That my epiphanies are pretty, you know, uh, fragmented and not very rational, you know, just suddenly occurs to me how weird a squirrel is, you know, and just say, what is, how weird is that? Why is it, you know, what's it thinking? So, and so I just think, I mean, I think that has to do with the way we think rather, than, you know, just as much as it has to do with writing. 